Hey guys, what's going on here? Just wanted to give you an update of my current train block. So, uh, lots to talk about here, and uh, I've got some footage here, and uh, we'll we'll dig right into it. But uh, starting out here, this is uh, testing my bench, and uh, you might notice I've got my feet up on the bench, and uh, I'll talk about that. Uh, here in a bit, but uh, it's been a challenging training uh, block, and that's uh, one of the reasons why um, you'll see my feet are up on the bench. Is my lower back's a little strained right now? I'm uh, not real sure what caused it. To be honest, I think it was posing. Uh, I held a posing clinic and uh, did that for about three to four hours, and I think. Uh, Demonstrating that uh, bikini arch maybe did it. I'm not sure, but whatever did it, uh, it's a little fired up right now. So with my training, I'm trying to minimize the lower back usage and just be smart here. So um, you know, when I bench, I tend to get a little aggressive with the arch and definitely put some strain on the lower back. So putting it up on the uh, the bench has helped that. And, it's actually, I was pretty happy. I uh, that first set I did there, that was actually my test set, and I actually did about three or four more reps than I did with that same weight last time with my feet down. So uh, that said, you know, um, I'm pleased with how my bench is going and uh, seeing that strength go up there. So hopefully uh, that will continue. Um, however, this is a uh, this is the, the second thing. Okay, so the first thing was my Lower back's a little uh, tight. The second thing is, it is going to be crunch time for the uh, NANDF Natural Iowa that's So at the time of this recording, we're two weeks out, and um, you know, if anybody uh, is involved with putting on any type of event, you know that those last uh, those last weeks are, are there's a lot going on. So I'm still trying to get all my training in, still trying to get my sleep. Uh, but just uh, got a lot of things to do here, so I'm uh, just trying to push through that, and so it makes it uh, a little tougher on the training. Uh, did the uh, flat dumbbell floor press here. This is a nice finisher after benching. Uh, able to do the alternating one. It's 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 amazing how even though your one arm is uh, down, you're still getting some tension on those pecs. So and plus, it's a good way to make sure you're not compensating one side versus the other. So been liking these and uh, continue to do those and then I've been <clears throat> super sitting with these landmine overhead presses again these feel real good on my shoulder they're about as much of an overhead press as, as I can do but um, you know right now again with the uh, getting close to the uh, not try we're just trying to make the most use of the, the time I've got so you know trying to uh, get through everything and um, not neglect my training uh, right now, and you know, I usually like to train five times a week. Right now, it's, it's going to be four, and, and even these last uh, couple weeks before, I get three training sessions in uh, during the week. I'm, I'm happy, you know. I'm rather not sacrifice sleep, um, and you know, just try to make the, the most of this time. So. Um, but that's, that's pretty standard, you know, like I said, it's only the uh, last uh, three, four weeks, and then uh, we get back in the grind, so. Um, but yeah, so enjoying these flat alternating dumbbell presses. Sometimes I'll do, um, you know, both arms at the same time. It, it's those flat, those uh, floor presses, it's amazing how when you alternate how much tougher it is. Um, but if I'm getting short on time, or if I'm not getting the rep range that I want, which is typically I like to hit like you know, between, between 10 and 12, then I'll go and do uh, uh, both arms at the same time. So, uh, so here's here's uh, this is glute ham raise. Um, I, I I've shown this on some other videos how I set this up in my home gym. Um, I, I you know. I'm, Got some weight on my, my lat pull down machine there. It's hitting my ankles underneath that. Uh, the, the knee knee brace, I guess is what you call it, maybe. Um, whatever you call that that holds it down. And then just bring a bench up to it and I, I just sit around. Um, but what I want to show here, these are uh, something I've been enjoying the uh, mild reps. So uh, 
Alberto Nunez actually turned me on to these, and the idea behind them is you do an activation set first, and you get some fatigue going. Um, and then after you get that fatigue going, then you do anywhere between, call it three and five reps, um, and, and kind of a rest pause fashion. And the idea behind these is, you know, you're continuing to uh, get more muscle activation, more muscle fiber activation. And it's, it's really just a really efficient use of your time because you're, you're not having to go into fatigue so you get those muscle fibers between the artist fatigue from that activation set and you can just get the, uh, the benefits behind it and uh, doing those fatigue reps. So it doesn't work the greatest on some exercises, but that's one that it does. So Okay, so here's the other thing that's been a challenge is train block. My cable machine broke. And as you can see here, I uh, snapped the cable. So thankfully uh, I wasn't hurt, just doing lap pull downs and just broke. This is about this is the second time this cable's broke. Um, there's two cables actually on the machine, one that's at the top and the one's on the low pulley, the low row there. Um, <clears throat> the last time the low row, uh, low pulley broke and this time it was the high pulley. So I got both both cables here. You can see the manufacturer sent them right out to me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace both those cables, the chain the carabiner all the stuff so just all the hard work is going to be changed and uh and it actually went really well and it's actually working really good now so just be careful you know if you're if you train at home or in a commercial gym for that matter if you're uh, just keep an eye on those cables you know uh, look at them visually inspect them you know make sure that they're in good working order uh, sometimes you have no idea i mean they're you know the wires covered in that plastic sheet so um, you, you don't know if they're going bad, but, um, you know, if, if they're frayed, obviously, visually, you definitely say something or, or make sure that you get them changed because, um, certainly a bad thing can happen if one of those cables breaks on you and, uh, snaps, so, but, uh, so here I'm doing skull crushers and I actually, I, I decided to get a different angle on these just to make sure that I'm not compensating on one side or the other. I still didn't get a very good angle. I, I look pretty uh, pretty caca on this one, but um, I think it's more of the camera than the actual uh, the, the angle of the bar. So I'm going to keep taking a closer look at these with the next block and just make sure that I'm not, um, I'm not compensating for one side or the other. And I think that's just a as you video and record your list, use multiple angles. You know, you get it's easy to get used to one and then always see the same angle and, and then um, and then maybe you'll miss something. So this is an exercise uh, that I found. Um, you'll see I had chalk on my fingers and you'll see why here in a second. I call these uh, monkey grip upright rows. And you'll see my hands there. Uh, I, I kinda I do what I call monkey grip these. So I just got them in, you know, the ends of my fingers there. And what this allows me to do is get just a little bit better contraction on those delts. I kind of, uh, at the top, I kind of rotate my shoulders in a little bit and just really focus on the contraction. I don't need a lot of weight on these, um, and I tend to do higher reps, but really just feel the tension, and I try not to relax at the bottom. Um, and, and they've really been feeling good, really been feeling good. So um, I've actually been super saving with pushdowns. And as you can see in this video, this is before my uh, cable got fixed, before I fixed it. So I'm using a, a band suspended there on the, on the pull down, which works fine. You know, you can get a good... Bands, I think, I think work well with triceps. You know, you can just get a, a real good squeeze on that as, as you push down or push out. You know, the resistance gets harder, so it's just a, uh, a really good body part is um, on those bands. So if you've got... If you got bands at home, you know, certainly triceps is one of those exercises you can blast. And, and here's these, these uh, Y backs I like to do just as a little shoulder exercise. Keep those shoulders happy. Keep that posterior delt going. So, okay, so went back in. Uh, you can see I got my cable fixed here. Happy day. Yay. Uh, got that going. So uh, definitely um, back day is a lot easier when you got cables. So. Um, here I'm doing reverse grip pull down. These are something I started doing. I don't know. I I struggle with these. They certainly hit the biceps, but um, just a little different feel on the back. Um, you know, they're not my favorite uh, variation of, of the uh, pull down, the reverse grip, but 
I like to switch it up, change it up, and throw these in there every once in a while. So um, we're doing those now. You know, keep it going. And this is, I think, my last set. And I started getting a little, a little ugly on these, a little bit more English, starting to uh, lean back a little bit more. So this next block, I probably won't increase the weight. Uh, on my last week, I'll probably just work back up to this and uh, hopefully make them better. Back exercises are one of those you got to stay honest with yourself. Um, it's easy to start swinging and throwing the weight around and using momentum. So, you know, really you got to keep that form strict because uh, they can uh, they get ugly real quick and then you're using everything but your back. So, um, you know, T-bar rows here, same thing. You know, really try to keep it strict now. Like I mentioned before, my lower back has been sensitive, uh, a little strain there, so I've been using that belt there, and you'll see, it's, uh, I think it's the company it makes is called Atlas. It's a very flexible belt. It's really thick in the front, and I like it because I can I can do things like being bent over, and, and uh, it doesn't dig in like my power, my power belt does. Um, you know, for squats, uh, I wouldn't use that for everything because you just it's not very flexible, very comfortable. But that one is so <clears throat> I've been using that for a lot of things. And uh, here I'm doing the uh, I call these prone lateral raises, so it's a rear lateral raise, but I'm, I'm at an angle as you can see, and I really try and get uh, up on that bench. You know, all five foot four of me, I want to make sure that I can clear it and get a good contraction, so I really try to, to walk up there and, and get a good contraction of those rear delts and of course then I'm supersetting these with these pull parts and um, it's just a nice little superset really hits those uh, anterior muscles there or sorry posterior muscles of the shoulder so uh, nice little superset and, and I do these for I don't know just a bunch of reps like 18 or 20 I don't know just, just keep going so again these, these feel good and again, like I mentioned before, with the low back, there's no real strength because your chest is supported. So, you know, you can, you can get that bent over, uh, bent over feel without uh, getting the lower back strain. So, um, like these, we'll continue to these and have been progressing pretty well in them. So, I'm happy with those. Um, so, then moving on to the uh, barbell curls, and it always amazes me how I feel like I'm really strict on the form. And I still see myself swinging a lot of bit. A lot of, a lot of English training. Not too bad. I'm not getting too ugly. But, uh, yeah, I was going to keep this in check and make sure I'm doing okay. And you can see here I'm wearing my belt. Here's a good shot of that belt. Like I said, just really contours my body. It's a little thin on the sides, but thick up front, which is where you need that support. Create that inner abdominal pressure. Um, and then, uh, like I said, just feels good. And just gives me a little extra support doing exercise when I'm curling. And, once my, my, my back's feeling good again, I'm not going to be using the belt. I try not to use the belt for much of anything except for maybe squats, deadlifts, um, and I, the rows, the two-bar rows. I like the belt to support there. So, so here's an exercise uh, that I've been using my reps on and I think works extremely well. So these are the uh, the preacher curls. and um, You know, again, this is my, my uh, affirmation phase, you know, activation phase, and um, getting some fatigue built up in there, and then uh, this one I like because if you really get a good squeeze on those biceps, and I think the key here is that when you do the mile reps on the exercise, you want you want it to be one where form does not break down very easily. Obviously, the isolation exercises make that easier, I and mean, you're not going to want to use it on something like a squat or a deadlift or anything. Too many things to get back, to get wrong. You gotta get injured or, you know, oxygen deprivation. I mean, even here, I mean, you can see him <clears throat> resting in between, caught five seconds or so, just, you know, trying to get some blood in there. Um, and, uh, you know, small muscle group, so I'm not, like, getting an oxygen debt, but, you know, if you're doing a total body exercise, it's gonna be tough to maintain form and, and still get some quality reps in here, so. Um, again, I really like these, and, and when I'm doing these, I'm not necessarily trying to increase the weight. Like, I'll actually try to, uh, I'll increase the, uh, the mile reps I get. So, um, I think I got maybe 20, 24, and so next time maybe I'll try and get 26 or 28. And see yeah, there, I actually set the bar down because I was trying to give myself a little more rest. So, probably get three reps 
Man, I'll give myself a little bit more rest. If I get five rest, then I'll, I'll tend to give myself a little rest. Well, so. oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm going to continue to put out uh, these train videos. And uh, again, this next series is crunch time. So I apologize in advance if it's not so afterwards. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel. More videos coming and remember, keep making an impact.